Today we're going to be talking about the Typhoon. I've seen it before, but for the viewers at home who maybe haven't seen it, what does it do? It's a spindle speed increaser that uses the machine uh, coolant facility. And uh, basically you can take a standard machine up to a high speed machine. Uh, no extra cost, whereas a new machine with high speed machining costs X amount of money. You can turn a standard machine into a, a high speed machine and it's a very flexible, versatile system. How does it work? It works by using the, the coolant of the machine. It has to have, for this unit, which is this, the original unit, 20 bar minimum coolant pressure. Through coolant? Through coolant's critical, 20 bar straight through, and there's a turbine inside which then turns around, turns the cutter, and evacuates out the front, which then clears all the swarf away. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's a good facility to have the swarf being removed from the front end, because if you trap swarf into pockets, ribs, it can damage a cutter, whereas this unit gets rid of that issue. Also good for small diameter tools? Small diameter, drilling, solid carbide, rib cutters, rifts, um, thread mills, you can even use as a grinding unit. It's, it's a very flexible, versatile system, mainly aimed at small diameter cutters. So what is the largest shank you could fit? You can put, it's an ER11 collet at the front, and you can put up to a, a six mil shank into it comfortably. And uh, you should be using, say, four mil and below on, on steels and aluminium. In terms of applications, you, you mentioned drilling, thread milling, but ball nose finishing? Ball nose is superb because one of the issues with ball nose milling, as you know, is that the surface speed at the, the bottom is critical and most machines don't have the facility to run at the correct mm -hmm. RPM. If it was on the five axis, could we take it off centre like we, like we should do <coughs> for finishing? You can, you can, and then you'll be at, you know, at the 20 bar, this unit is a 30k one, that will give you a 20 bar, 30,000 RPM. The maximum this unit can do is 40 bar, so then you can double the RPM, so you're in the 50, 60,000 RPM, which is ideal for small rib cutters. And what's this uh, digital screen <coughs> for? This is a screen, which it pairs, there's a, a sender on this unit, and there's, this is the receiver, and you can have up to four, four of these units, because obviously you can tool change this unit. As the spindle rotates, and then activates the next one, so you can actually visually see the RPM of the, the tool. And that's a HSK, what other back ends? H offer. HSK is uh, one of the standard ones, but we can put it on a BT40. Uh, we can have a straight shank. Uh, the common one is this one here, which is an ER32. Nearly every single machine shop has an ER32 chuck, so it's totally flexible. You can use it on uh, turn mills, mills, lathes. You know, it's limitless, the applications. And that's a new one on me, I haven't seen this, so is that just a new model or this is different features? This is an addition to the, 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 the Typhoon family. Basically, this unit is 20 to 40 bar. This new unit is 30 to 50 bar, which is now giving you the facility you can have about one and a half kilowatt power because we've enhanced the, the chamber, which means as the coolant goes through, we can have more flow rate going through there, which means you've got more power going to the tool. So this is in addition to this unit, but the benefit, is, as well as this unit, is the diameter looks larger, but if you look at the existing one with the receiver, it's, so in effect, it's the same diameter. Okay, and we talk about bar. What, what's, if I've got a, a two-year-old VMC, what bar am I likely to have? If I, if I haven't specced high-pressure coolant, what's, what's standard coolant? You, you would have to check. I mean, you, you need to make sure this 20 bar, the, fl the flow rate is critical, because obviously if you haven't got the correct uh, coolant pressure, the unit won't be as optimum, it, it won't give you the benefit. You, you can, you have the ability to actually change the coolant pump to mm. boost the, the coolant pressure, which once you've seen what this unit can do, it's in your own interest to, to change mm. the coolant pump to make the machine work. And how about if it's fluctuating? If it's fluctuating, as long as it's a, a small fluctuation, it's not a, a major issue, as long as it's not a, a massive decrease. And that's the benefit of having the screen, you can actually monitor the RPM, and if the, if the coolant rate goes down, you can actually visually see it. I guess there's an issue anyway with the machine, isn't there, if the coolant drops, so it needs to put in weight regardless. Exactly, yeah. And one of the other additions we've now got, we now have a facility where we can have a heat shrink collet. Um, because with dire moulds, they always want five axis machines, they need the reach and the axis. We now have the facility where we can add um, a heat shrink unit so we can then boost the gauge length of the cutter. And are they a good popular seller for take it it's only been new to the market in the last 12 months and we've got quite a few customers now that are amazed with the performance of it and they're now looking to retrofit some of their machines so they can get the correct coolant pressure. I bet they are. Yeah. And some of the companies now, when they're ordering new machines, they're looking to make sure the coolant pressure is one of the most important features of the new machine. So they need to use this, this facility because 
You can get a machine with, say, 12,000 RPM at a price. If you want a machine with 20, 30, 40,000 RPM, the price is different. You add this unit to there, you can have a standard machine, and it's a high-speed unit. And it's a fraction of the price of a, a 50K spindle, no doubt. Exactly. Good. Well, I look forward to seeing more in the field. So do I. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>